All right, good morning. We have a Brown and Auto 5 12 gauge. Uh, we're gonna disassemble this morning. I'll show you how to how to disassemble the shotgun. So we'll start by first of all, we make sure we got a safe and empty weapon. Of course we do. Nice and safe and empty. We'll unscrew our magazine nut here. Set it to the side. Pull arm off. The barrel comes right out. All right. Set that barrel to the side. Thing we're gonna do is take our uh, friction rings off. Come off in one piece. Set those aside. I like to try to keep all my parts kind of in the same area, so I know when I start putting it back together, I'll know where the where they are and where they came from. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is take the stock off. It always pays to, when you're working on these Brown and A5s, the, the threads, the screw heads are very fine, so go ahead and invest in you a set of Browning specific to this Browning shotgun screwdriver bit so you don't burr your threads up. That's one of the, one of the common mistakes people do when they mess these threads all up. So to get the stock off, this screw right here has nothing to do with taking the stock off. So don't worry about that screw. You don't want to unscrew that right now. It holds springs together on the inside. So these back uh, back two screws, they'll come out. The, the small one, the only thing it is, is a locking screw to hold the big screw in. So I'm going to set it aside. Get my big bit. It goes to this big screw. I'm just gonna take it, take it right out. This one comes out very easy. I've seen them. Now you have to give them a little considerable force to get them out. One thing I like to do when I'm working on these browners also is keep my keep my screws, my locking screw, and the screw that I take out together because uh, a lot of times the the slots will point the same way and your stock just slides straight off all right so we'll set our stock to the side uh next thing we'll do is let's uh we'll, i'm gonna very easily release the uh release the bolt forward so i'm gonna hold back on it just ease it forward and uh i want to take this uh this mainspring out so you'll notice that you have a hole right here there's a little pin in there and the thing's under spring pressure, so be very careful. Uh, I like to hold it in, and just like then, my pin just dropped right out. So I can slide this spring out, place it to the side. I'm going to take my little pin, and I'm going to put it right up here so I know where to find it. All right. So let's get this trigger group out. Change bits again. So these screws right here this one and this one are what holds the trigger housing in so i'm gonna first thing i'm gonna do is take the locking a little small locking screw out set it aside i'm going to take the other screw sometimes it's not going to just come all the way out so you'll feel it and sometimes you have to take your screwdriver a bit maybe Rise it up just a little bit to get it out. Set it over here with the corresponding locking screw. What I'm going to do is take this locking screw out here. Set it aside. It's under spring pressure right here, so it, it, it pays just to kind of hold up on it a little bit. And you see, you saw that screw fall back in there. Just release the spring pressure on it just a little bit. And it'll come right out. We're going to set it over here to the side. And there we go. You slide your trigger housing out just like that. Very simple. I'll break that down in just a minute. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to take the thing down completely to do a thorough cleaning on it. So I'm gonna take my locking screw out here. Set it aside. 
Have another screw here that holds this elevator in. We'll ease it out. Set it aside. At that point, my elevator will come out. I'll set that elevator to the side. Turn the shotgun over. All right, one more on this side. A locking screw, set it aside. All right. If you'll notice the two the two screws I took out the whole elevator and everything in, they're identical screws. Uh, I have a pin on the inside, but anyway, you don't have to get yourself super worked up about keeping those together. All right, so this piece will come out right here. I'm gonna set it over there next to the elevator. All right, so now we got to get our bolt out. That's no big deal. So you'll notice on this side of the shotgun there's a hole. All right, and if you turn it over this way, you'll notice there's a half moon hole right here. So what we have to do is we have to get first of all the first thing you can do is slide your all right this tail this uh, if you look right here this tail needs to be all the way down like this so your charging handle can come out all right no big thing and then what we're going to do is we're going to line up there's a pin right in this channel that we will line up with this let's see if i can see it all right there we go there's a pin that you line up right there with this half moon okay so what we're going to do is we're going to drive it out from the other side. So I'm going to make sure I get a pin that matches and you want to hold this in place so it doesn't shift. Turn the gun over. Insert your pin into this hole. And just give it a little tap. You can feel that pin start to move. Alright. At this point you can turn your shotgun over. Get this pin. Set it aside so you know where it, where it goes. And you can ease your punch out. Now, uh, this piece right here lifts straight up. Set it aside. And there's a spring in there, so don't don't turn your gun all over until we get the spring out. I like to use like a little pick or something like this to so ease it in there. I still lost the pin. There it is. We'll set it aside over here, corresponding. And at this point, we can slide our bolt out the front of the shotgun. Just like that. Easy. Charging handle comes out, set it aside. All right. So we got a stripped lead, uh, stripped receiver on the shotgun. The only two things I didn't take out, well, there's three things. Uh, there's the uh, there's a button on this side that's got a spring on it. I'm not taking that out on this, this video. Uh, so you have you have three pins right here. And during different times, Brian did different things. Sometimes uh, they're roll pins. That's no problem at all uh, with a roll pin because you take a small punch, small punch right here. Uh, there's a hole right here that the pin will come through. You can take your you can take your punch, just drive it completely down. The roll pin will come out. You set the stuff to the side. No no big issue. Uh, so anyway, but I'm not gonna do that on this video. So I set the receiver aside. All right, let's see. I'll go ahead and let's go ahead and break down the uh, let's go ahead and break down the the bolt. So I'll use a block of wood. You can that's my that's my armorer's block. I got it for uh, nothing. It was laying on the shop floor. So I got my punch. Let's see if this punch will work. Yep, I got my punch. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive it out. Uh, this the side right here is tapered in right here, and once we so we want to drive it out back towards this way. So we just slide it on the side right here to slot it. Take my armor's block, give it a little small punch. Oh, yep, I got it moving. Now all I have to do is just drift it on out. All right, once I get that drifted out, I'll set my pin aside. All right, and uh, we got your... Well, first thing we'll do is take our firing pin out. Here's our firing pin right here. So we're going to pull that bad boy out, pull the firing pin out, set it over here next to our pin that it goes to. Now, this just comes right out the top. Just like this, right out the top. 
and you have extractors and ejectors with uh, corresponding pins you can see the pins here I'm not taking those out either it's all cleaned up and ready to go but if you, if you had to drive them out that's that's what you would do you take a small pin such as this one right here drive them out and service and put new springs in and whatnot um, another pin right here that holds together sometimes they're just finger finger tight and you can just ease them out but other times you have to drive them with a, with a punch whatever the need my armor is blocked again whatever you need to do works let's see here come on baby there we go get that baby out oh, it looks like it needs to be wiped down a little bit no problem Alright, that looks good there. Let's put let's reinstall that pin. Where's my brass hammer? I need my brass hammer right here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Alright, good. Good deal. Alright, so we'll set that aside. All right, let's take our trigger group and see what we can do with it. So we'll take a trigger group here. It looks intimidating, but it's not. So we'll this, this spring here just slides right out. Set it to the side. Let's see. Let's take our auto stuff. Not our auto sear. When, good gracious, not an auto sear. This is a safety sear. Let's see if we can get this bad boy out. So I'm gonna hold on the hammer. You don't want the hammer just fly, flying free. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reduce. Uh, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. And there, nice and easy there. So we're gonna take this this uh, this safety sear out. So what I'll do is I'll use the pressure of the hammer. Uh, if you can see that, use the pressure of the hammer to hold down that spring. Um, let's see here if we can get it out without doing that. So. Where's my screwdriver? So what we're gonna do here, if you can see, you got a spring and a little little uh, detent here. So make sure that that stays captured. You don't want it flying across your shop. So we're gonna ease, press that down, press that detent, and this just falls right out. So we'll set that, that set that baby aside. Pull your spring, your detent out. Set it over here next to your safety sear. Once again, hold your hold your hammer, press the trigger, let it come up. All right. So let's see if we can punch, punch this. On this particular browning, this hammer pin is a little bit stubborn. It makes me use a punch. No problem. We'll just punch it right out. Take our hammer out. Perfect. All right. So the next thing we'll do, we're gonna go ahead and break it all the way down. Uh, remember the screw we talked about earlier? I said we didn't want to take out. So that screw actually holds these springs, the main spring and the safety detent spring. So now we'll just take the screw out. I can feel the spring pressure releasing already. All right, my screw comes out. I'm gonna make sure I keep that separate. All right, we can take our main spring out at this point. Come right over here, we'll set it next to our screw. Uh, let's take our trigger out now. So the trigger has a pin. The trigger has a pin right here that goes through and through. So we'll let's see if we can just press that baby out. Yep, that just presses right out. Perfect. I'm going to keep it separate so we're not mixing pins up. And that trigger just falls right out like that. Pull it right at the top. Put it right there next to its pin. All right, the only other thing we have left to do is we have another spring here that holds the safety detent ball in. So 
All we're going to do with that one is slide it forward. It's got a, there's a cross member that goes here, and that spring rides underneath that cross member. So we'll push it forward just like this. You'll notice that the, that the spring wants to naturally come down into the trigger channel. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want it to do. Push it all the way up. Once you clear the cross member here, you can take the spring right out the back. Now you have a you have a safety detent ball, which is right here. So don't don't flip the thing all around at this point and lose that ball. So we're gonna just try to turn it over right here and see if the ball will come right out. Yep, the ball came right out. You ever have just like looks like a little number five shot. We'll set it right to the side, and the safety falls right out. So that's it. That shotgun minus the springs we talked about earlier and these pins that you drive out from the top. This shotgun is completely disassembled and ready for cleaning.